we play off of each other. You know, we use the energy off of each other. Defense puts us in great spots. We have one of the best defenses in Ohio, and it's pretty obvious, you know. Uh, seven points to, what were they, number eight, and rank number eight or something like that. So uh, we, got a, we got studs on defense. And, uh, it, again, it, giving us good field position makes uh, my life easier, makes our all lines life easier. Running backs, you know, all of our playmakers just – allows them to get the ball back in their hands and make plays. Those guys just fly around and those are those are big strong backs and a big offensive line and a quarterback who's 6'4". I mean those are grown men that North Ridgeville has and, and they got a good football team and we recognize that they're going to make the playoffs and we'll probably see them again you know so we won this round but we better go back to work and we better keep getting better because our goal is to play our best football week 10 and we're not there yet but we're on our way. I love it. Everybody flies around head on a screw just going. We're losing mine out there a little bit. The way we play you know we play for each other. That's that's how we were taught and uh, this is just the start honestly that's all I gotta say it's just the start Nolan Good is is really good pun intended we're blessed. It's like having Jacory on Caffey in the backfield a year ago when he lost. When you should lose two, he got five. You know, Nolan Good when he should be sacked gets a first down. So, it makes us coaches look smarter than we are. He like had he had one decently quote unquote bad game, but after that game, he's been 100 percent almost every single game. He's probably one of the best QBs in the state. So we're glad to have him. I'm just blessed, really, just to have you know playmakers all over the field that I can get the ball to. You guys had that big, grueling pregame start. Mm -hmm. Come into another SWC run. Right. What is it about this that makes you guys keep your focus? We do the first three for a reason. To be the best, you got to beat the best. And um, you know, this team coming in had a bunch of hype. Everybody wanted us to lose this one. Everybody wanted us to lose this one, except for our city and our circle. And we knew that coming in. And um, we have the mentality that we're going to hunt and not be hunted. And uh, you know, we. I'm just, I'm blessed really just to, you know, come out with a victory against a good team like this. It definitely allows us to be humble and just stay stay uh, hungry, but, you know, it's, it feels good knowing that everybody's going to come bring our best and we'll play a good game every game. We've played great competition, great defenses. We've seen what strain looks like. We've overcome adversity. Um, you know, the Glenville game, I think about the weather you were battling, plus a tremendous defense. Like, that's one of the best defenses there is. And um, so we, we really grew from that and we were able to win and grow from it, which was awesome because we just didn't feel like we ran the ball well enough and it it started with just an edge and an attitude and being more physical on the offense line.